morning. It's Tuesday. I just dropped the kids off at the bus stop and thank God for a neighborhood of friends. That way I know that they are looked after because I have somewhere I have to be. I had to hurry up, get everything, you know, ready as you do as a parent, well, as an adult, I guess. In the morning, um, I'm on my way to get my mom who lives about an hour and a half away from me. I'm gonna go get her, bring her back to where I live um, so she can get her hair done because she likes my hair salon. And then I'm gonna take her back home and then come back and try my best to get to my son Raymond's honors assembly on time uh, at school this afternoon. He's getting a couple awards so I'd like to be there for him. Um, it is 7.30 right now. Her appointment is at 9.30 and his awards ceremony is at 1.30. So I'm hoping I can be superwoman today and get all of this done. I'll tell you what I'm not going to get done is probably, oh, well, I was going to say dinner, but you know what? I do have that handy dandy frozen lasagna still. So I bet I bet that'll be utilized tonight. Um, so I am going to try to haul butt here, listen to a podcast on the way. Please give me any and all podcast and audiobook recommendations that you have. I love, you know, I'm a basic bee and love me some true crime and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't have to just be true crime, like for audiobooks, I obviously like fiction, mystery, thriller, love it, all of it. So let me know what you got, what I can uh, put in the rotation. I started a new book a couple weeks ago and I'm really trying to like push through it. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, but I'll finish it. So anyway, I'm, I'm looking for something new to start after that. So let me know what you got. And I'm going to stop talking to a camera so that I can get onto the interstate and not crash. And I will see you later. Have a great day. Is this the indoor? Yeah. Where do you think the tails would be? Here's a black tail. Could you be a black bear? Yeah, I am one. You are a black bear? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you're gonna be a black bear and we have a black tail, right? Now we need to go find a fuzzy black jacket at Target or Walmart. Those guys over there are scary. You gonna go watch it? Go step on it. On the button. Put it like right to like activate it. Can you do it? <laughs> did you do it last time? You did? <laughs> I have to rush to Ava's school to go watch her vocabulary parade. That's why we were at Spirit Halloween last night to get a few little things. She's got to dress up as her vocabulary word. But anyway, this is like so down low. That's why I'm squatting. I wanted to do a quick little fit check. It's nothing amazing, but it's cute. So I want to show you. And I have to squat kind of. This is a sweatshirt I ordered off Etsy last year. Hawkins High School, uh, 1986. It's from... Uh, Stranger Things, the Netflix show. So perfect season to wear it. I love this navy blue color. And these Reebok shorts that I got from Walmart a few months ago, actually. They're so comfortable. They have pockets. I love the fit of them. Um, I keep meaning to share them in all of my Walmart videos, but I'm pretty sure I haven't done it yet. I keep forgetting because these aren't something that I like bought just for a video to keep on hand to share is what I usually do. I keep all that stuff piled together. I just bought these on a whim because I love them and so they've been repeatedly washed and put away so I forget but I'll share them here with you. I've got to hurry up, go watch her in her cute little outfit and then um, I don't know I'll figure out something else for us to do today.
Okay, it is 6 p.m., but I am about to throw this in the crock pot. It's some pork shoulder, country style, rib, boneless ribs. Pork shoulder, oh my God. Pork shoulder, country style, ribs, boneless. That is the order of the words on the package. Anyway, they're country ribs, there you go. That's. That's how people describe these. Anyway, it's six o'clock and I'm just gonna throw these in the crock pot now. So this um, 5.18 pound package was $18 and eight cents. But um, anyway, if I could ever finish what I'm saying as I'm saying it, my husband and daughter are at the hunting camp and I'm gonna be saying that frequently in all of these videos because well, it's hunting season, so he's gonna be there a lot and gonna be taking the kids. So this is her first trip and she was very excited. But anyway, um, it's okay that I'm starting this so late because for one, they're still there. It takes them probably about two hours to get home, even if they were leaving right now and they're still not leaving right now. And this cooks really quickly. It cooks on high in about three to four hours. Um, so I'm just gonna start it now. And I figured I'd show you how I do it. I mean, at least I hope it cooks that quickly this time. Last time I only cooked half a package and this time I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Mostly because I'm too lazy to vacuum seal the leftovers, but also because Raymond loves pulled pork and that's what I'm making with this. So that's what we're gonna do, make a lot of it. I also don't really remember everything that I seasoned it with last time. So I'm just gonna try my best guess and throw some stuff on there that I think would taste good. There's no more room in here for the rest of the ribs. So I'm gonna season these, put the rest on top and then season those. So of course, some salt. And I know there used to be a thing about people saying that like the pink Himalayan salt is healthier and better for you. I have no clue if it is. That might even be why we started buying it, but now we just buy it out of habit. So there you go, that's our salt. And of course, a little pepper. Salt and pepper are just always 
assumed ingredients in everything. Some onion powder. I would usually do garlic powder as well, but um, I'm gonna be using both of these Kender seasoning, which um, both have garlic in them. The red jalapeno garlic and the wood-fired garlic. I'm pretty sure this is how I seasoned all of this last time I made it. And whenever you're doing the pork, you just, just get it all over there. Real generous. Okay. Also, when you're doing something like this in the crock pot, this is key. Some liquid smoke. You do not need much. It is a potent flavor, so I'm literally just going to do two. Oh, that was three drops. So three drops there, and then I'll do like one or two drops on the rest of these. Just pile these babies on. Gosh, I really hope this cooks as fast as it did last time. Last time I cooked these was the first time that I ever did this. And um, I like halfway followed someone else's YouTube video about how he cooks them. I didn't even check this time. I'm just trusting my bad memory, which is probably not a good call, but that's what's happening. All right, now I'm gonna cook these on high for a few hours. And I'm not adding any liquid in there because it's pork and it has plenty of fat that it's gonna render and it's gonna create its own juicy goodness. So I'm not gonna add any liquid. I don't wanna make it too watery. So here we go, we're done. Look, I got my nails done by the way. I don't know if I said anything about that. I love this color for fall. This is the first time I've actually liked my nails in uh, months, the last two or maybe even three times I've gotten them done. I've hated them, but these, these I like. All right. I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. trying to put away all the stuff from my last three try on hauls. So the Walmart one, an Old Navy one that I'm in the middle of editing right now, and then a Target one that you may or may not have seen by the time you'll see this. I'm not sure. I can't upload too many try on videos in one week or else I think I'm going to set unrealistic expectations for people. And I also have to do an Amazon one soon with the brand that I always work with, which I feel like maybe a vlog is a is a safe space to share how I feel about that. Move these mics over here so you can hear me. I feel like paid sponsored content like that, obviously for viewers, um, is annoying, and I get I get it because before I started doing any of this, I felt the same way. Like as soon as I would see that, immediately I would just be like, oh nope, I'm skipping this. Um, so I get it. And I also get that it's probably annoying to people that the only time I ever do an Amazon video is when it's paid with that brand. But you know, the reality for me is just that this is, a, this is what I'm trying to do. Like this is what I'm trying to set as my path forward is um, being able to freaking get paid to do this kind of stuff because I, I promise you, I have spent so much more money making all of my content than I have ever made off of it. So if someone wants to pay me, well, and obviously if I like their stuff, I mean, I'm not just gonna do absolutely anything. But anyways, my point being, if I like something and they're gonna pay me, well, I'm gonna do it. And anyway, so I have one of those videos that has to go up soon because I've got all my clothing in now. Um, I'm trying to find something to watch on Hulu while I put all this stuff away. I finally finished that book that I was saying I wasn't really that into. The ending really pissed me off, honestly. I mean, not, not really made me mad, but 
it was I'm just annoyed that I wasted over 10 hours of my life listening to that book that's the last time I'll take a chance on a new genre whenever people on TikTok are going crazy about something. So still give me all of your book, podcast, show recommendations for things that are like sci-fi, mystery, could be true crime, historical fiction, stuff that makes you have to think and figure something out. That's what I like. I'm all caught up on The Golden Bachelor. Absolutely love love this season. It is such a nice change of pace to see people who genuinely just appreciate life and understand how fleeting everything is. I feel like that's something that you don't quite grasp until you've either suffered some significant losses or um, you've aged enough to just realize how fleeting everything is. It's nice to see the the kindness and understanding within that season. And then the contrast to that is Bachelor in Paradise, which I also really enjoyed just because it's entertaining and messy. But I'm caught up on both of those and I do watch American Horror Story, which is not really that great. I just kind of watch it out of habit at this point. But I guess they skipped an episode this week, so I don't have anything to watch. I don't have anything to listen to and I have to do these chores and that's like not possible for me. I have to have something else going. That way I can do a mundane task. Ugh. Haunting of the Queen Mary. It looks kind of stupid. A psychological horror? Um, okay, I'll try it. I have all of the shirts and the couple of dresses. I need to take my glasses off or else you're just gonna be seeing a glare on my face this whole time. Oh, also I totally forgot that I said last week that I was gonna give you an update on the whitening strips. I, you're not gonna get like a good view right now in this lighting. Here's my teeth. I do think that they did something. It is not some drastic difference. Maybe it will be if I do the upkeep of doing them like twice a week. If you do it for seven nights in a row and then um, for upkeep, they say do it like one to two times a week. They did not make my teeth sensitive. So that's a good thing. There were some moments of slight sensitivity. Not bad, short-lived. That's the update on the Luminu whitening strips. Now let's get into the rest of my Goodwill haul. I also ordered some things from Kohl's, some stuff that was like on clearance, and I'll just share that with you too. I'm not gonna try this stuff on because I'm tired and lazy. Both of these shirts are the same. I got them in white and blue. They're just Columbia fishing shirts. They are in perfect condition. No stains, no rips or holes or anything. I got this long sleeve little t-shirt, which correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure mud. It used to be at either Walmart or Target, but I think now it's just at Kohl's. Um, but I just thought it was cute. It's light blue with some little red and white floral print all over it. Just simple, dainty. Here's another simple little thing, just a Nike t-shirt in this kind of neon green almost. Not quite neon, I don't know how to explain it, but it is definitely a vibrant color. This was a stupid impulse buy because this was whenever I went in there for like the first real time that I had time to browse and look around and I was like hyper focused. I had a fixation with looking up everything that I thought might be like high-end or expensive. It's just a denim little overshirt or a button-up and it is really cute. On the breast pockets it has some like heart stitching and then it has it across the back right there. Um, it's not a bad shirt, it is really cute. It's just, I don't know how often I'm actually gonna wear this and I only bought it because when I looked it up it was a pretty nice brand. And then the last shirt type thing that I got was this sweater that still has the tags on it. Um, it's a size small, but I figured it's fine. It looks big enough. It's not like a tight sweater, I don't think. And I just liked the big pearls on it. Thought that this would be cute for Christmas time. Oh, it has the tag on it right here, $54. I got this dress. It's pretty cute. It's like pinstripe. And then the back is an open back which I thought was really cute too. And then the last clothing item I got was this dress. Oh, I have to be careful with the zipper actually. It was kind of broken. So this dress I thought was so cute and unique. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying this on for you. That would be so much better. My husband and my son are away. Um, they went hunting today. Ava went hunting with him yesterday. They didn't see anything and it was very uneventful. But today they finally got one. They got their first 
deer of the season. So I love that for them. That is my son's first time being out there and something coming of it. So that's cool. Now the Coles stuff. I love uh, Drew, not Drew Barrymore. I mean, I do love I do love Drew Barrymore. Um, Reese Witherspoon. I love her line at Kohl's, Draper James. But why is it so expensive? She did have a pair of shoes that I noticed were on clearance because they're out of season now and they're so freaking cute. They were like 20 bucks. They only had an eight and a half though and not a nine, which is my usual shoe size. So I'm hoping these will still fit. How cute are these little slip-on heels? They're just like little picnic heels and I'm obsessed with them and I have to try them on to see if they fit. The right foot fits. My left foot is a little bit bigger. So let's see. <laughs> So cute. Very happy about that. What else did I get? A skirt from Lauren Conrad that was also on clearance. So it's just almost like a denim skirt. Not quite denim, it just kind of looks like one. It's actually a skirt, so it's shorts in the back. It's originally $44 and I got it for like eight bucks. And then the last thing that I got is a pair of, another pair of shoes. Um, but these, these were on sale, but not like an insane sale. I think they were like $10 off. These are from Lauren Conrad and these are so, so cute for Christmas, for the holidays. They are velvet pumps, Mary Jane pumps. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. How adorable is that? I've got to stop. I've got to stop ordering these kinds of heels. Like, I can't help it. It's so cute. Those blue heels. Uh, well, like you might even haven't seen the Target haul yet. Well, hold on. Since you might ha not have seen it yet, let me get them. Okay. So I shared these in my Target haul. These little heels. Where am I going to wear these? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't go anywhere fancy. So I don't know where I wear them, but they are too gorgeous to not own. So I bought that same deal with these. These are too gorgeous not to own. That's it. That's all the stuff. This is a really long clip. This is going to take forever to edit. I'm rambling now. I got to get all this stuff put away and cleaned up. Thank you again for sticking through it and for riding out the week with me. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Good night.